I'll start off by saying this journey was way harder than either of us thought it was going to be. Like, even though I did this 10 years ago, I thought I knew what to expect, but had no idea it was going to impact me as much as it has. And this is my hope is that the mental and emotional part of this transformation is way more powerful than people think. Even for me, I w I'm still um, affected in so many ways that surprise me. And my hope is that people at least get out of this, that hopefully you become more aware of how your physical health affects you in so many ways outside of just weight loss or weight gain. It affects your relationships, it affects your mood, it affects how you show up at your job, how you show up as a parent. It really does affect those things. And so I, I know I was surprised by how much it affected me. Um, and even my daughters tell me, and you have told me, it's changed me. And the sucky thing is that I know that it has, but it, that's how powerful it is. Is like, even though I know how much it's gonna change me, yeah, I still like can't, I still can't choose, I can't, I still can't not choose that to happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, <laughs> I think we're both actually a little bit in shock. <laughs> still, I know I am. <clears throat> And they were doing this, this video, and I said I wasn't going to cry, but we joked, honestly joked in the beginning of this about, you know, Drew said he was going to make a contract <laughs> that I couldn't break up with him during this journey, and that was it's funny, true. it was Forgot laughable. We talked to people about that, and I never thought that we would be here, and I thought this journey would affect Drew and his mood and him more than me or our relationship or the kids. And the truth is that since it started, you know, so many things have happened and have changed. And what I feel is like my, the Drew that I fell in love with, like, I know you're still in there. It's just that this weight gain has affected your hormones and your mood and your lifestyle in a way that I was not prepared for. And I think some of the choices and I mean, even just with us breaking up, I don't think they would have happened if it weren't for this journey. And so it's hard because, <clears throat> you know, you're doing it on purpose, but it's true. I know that you know you're different and you just can't change it. Yeah, I know. And I, that's the thing is like, I feel, <clears throat> man, I feel like this is so much harder than people think. Like what you guys see on social media is what I want you to see. Right. Uh, mostly good moments. We talked about our breakups in the past. Yeah. We've broken up before. Yeah. And the hard part is that during this journey, yeah, <laughs> yeah. we've taken yeah. breaks this yeah. and this time it is, it is final. And it's so hard to accept that because we both never imagined that that would have happened and this is so <sighs> life is so interesting because 10 years ago I never thought I would be a divorced <laughs> you know single parent I never thought I would leave my religion I never in a million years but things happen experiences happen that shaped me a certain way that made me start to believe and look at things through a new lens and so I do have to say this like Julie was the first person since my divorce that I was able to truly fall in love with. Like I've dated casually here and there. She is my first real girlfriend since my divorce. And like she put up with a lot in the beginning because I had trust issues with love. I didn't trust love anymore. I had so many fears introducing someone into my life, uh, into my daughter's lives as well, uh, or introducing her to my ex-wife how that all that would work. And like, I have to say, like, she's been incredible. She's done an awesome job and I have nothing bad to say about Julie. Um, my, um, and I know it doesn't make sense to you guys. Cause you're like, well, why are you breaking up? <laughs> I, it, there's a lot of other things that just is between us for right now that just, this is what has to be for the time being, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, I, it's so hard. Like I, this is a really hard video for me to make because usually I want to wait till I have healed and I'm definitely not I'm there yeah. yet. Yeah, I don't think either of us are. And before, <clears throat> before Drew started this journey, I mean, for me, I was dreaming our life together. 
you know, I was, we were talking about when, you know, kids, and we have, we have all these plans, and things just change so quickly, and, you know, every relationship, everyone can relate to having hardships with your partner, and we've been having that so much since this journey started that we just really need to take a step back and work on ourselves, and I mean, we still love each other. I think that's the hardest part. I don't think either of us really wants to, to do this, but yeah. it's, you know. <sighs> it's one of those things where I feel like it has to happen. The, the healing, the, th the things we need yeah. to work on have to be done separately. For us, that makes sense. I know for a lot of you, it doesn't, but I feel like that's what has to happen, and it sucks, and that's why it's so hard, because mm -hmm. it was like all of a sudden, and it was like us realizing, okay, well, we don't want it to be that way, but it has to be that way for us, and it's really hard, because like, I think of the world of Julie, I think the world of her family, um, and my girls think the world of her, too, and my ex-wife thinks the world of her, too, and so, yeah, it's it's... It is so hard. Yeah, so. it's hard. And I think you're doing a good job of, of getting through this because if it were me, I would have stopped by now. And I know that you're having a hard time and I know you're struggling. And it's, it just has affected so much more than just you. And that's what I didn't know going into this. I didn't know that it would not only affect you, but the people around you. And that's why health and lifestyle is so important because it affects your family. Yeah. And, you know, I s didn't want to break up. I still don't want to be broken up. But this is like, I'm not seeing the same version of you that I had for two years before this. And I know that once you get back to fit, you're going to feel better. But my hope for you is that you know, until then you can start moving into your heart now and just realize that there is so much good and love around you, Drew. Everybody around you loves you so much and, and just wants to see you healthy and happy. Yeah, I hear you on that. I, I feel like this is harder than my divorce. This is way harder than my divorce because... This journey or us breaking up? Us breaking up is harder yeah. than my divorce. The journey it definitely has been hard and it has made me, like my ability to handle stress with Julie is not what it used to be for sure. Like I know they don't have the amount of patience that I used to have. So my hope is that people become more aware of how their physical health affects their emotional health and spiritual health, which carries over into the relationship. Mm -hmm. And so this stuff is so important and it's so serious. And I, we are going through it firsthand, seeing how it can affect certain people and this is why it's so important. And I know that what I'm doing is, it's a journey, it's on purpose, it's intentional. I'm the type of person, you know me, once I commit to something, like my 100 miler, like, I, yeah, it hurts at mile 20, but I have 80 miles left to go. Mm -hmm. I know that there's four weeks left to go. Um, but I just want to end by saying I have so much respect for Julie, her family, the way she showed up, the way she's been, you know, um, so helpful to me on this journey and for my daughters and for my ex-wife like and that's i think that's what makes it even harder for me but i just want to let you know like i hear you and i know that yeah. i'm not the best version of myself like i know that and yeah. you know this is it's so hard this and is i'm so sorry hard. that you're struggling so much i thought this would be this journey would be easier for you too yeah. and i'm sorry that you're hurting too and um I'm glad that we can sit here and talk about this together, and yeah. um, I just, I want what's best for you. Thank you, and I want that for you too. Like, I just want you to be happy, I want you to be healed, and I know that I still have a lot of work to do, and that's what these situations do for us, is you could take it as a learning experience, or you could play the victim mindset and blame, you know, whoever. I know I have a lot of growing to do, <clears throat> and I'm, I know I'll look back on this one day, and I'll be, I'll say thank you and be super grateful, you know? So thank you. And thank you guys for listening. And once again, please, you know, respect the, um, the vulnerability and the authenticity for both of us. And, um, and we ask you to just, 
you know, see that we're trying to honor each other and we're both doing the best we can. So thank you guys for listening, for being a part of this journey. And um, things will get better. I know that for sure. Um, things do get better. And we'll get through this. Yeah. Thank you guys.